to another video. I hope you all had a really nice Christmas, as I did. Um, spent it with Annie, which was really good, and got loads and loads of new stuff. It was a really, really good Christmas. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing um, a little bit of a sort of an install, but it's um, something I got for Christmas, which, um, as some of you may know, will benefit me because I have a bad back. Um, now, I, I have told you in the past that I have got a bucket seat, a pair of bucket seats in my car. Now, I have fitted one, and the other one I'm waiting on Annie's seat to get the rails, because she's got rails already, but the seats come with rails anyway. So I'm using them rails on my seat, because they fit perfect. So I'm waiting for her rails to come in so I can do an install video on the passenger seat, because my driver's seat is already in. Um, so thank you Born to Drift for supplying me with the stuff for that. It works spot on and the seat is amazing. But we'll show you that in another video. But for today, there's something I wanted to show you, which is this. Now, it kind of looks like something you'd pee into on a long trip. Yeah, this is actually a blow up lumbar support. Now what you do is it's for bucket seats. Now bucket seats tend to be fairly flat at the back no real lumbar support, they're designed to keep you in. But I have noticed on longer trips, my seat isn't the most comfortable on my back, which is not good for me, because obviously I have a bad back. Um, so today, I'm gonna be installing this, or in this video, I'm gonna be installing this. So that is a bag, all sealed. It's all sort of made out of plastic or whatever, and then you've got a pump. You can tell me what you think it looks like. But anyway, you pump it up, like that. You can hear the air going in might take a while a few moments later either way you can kind of see it now a bit better it's a bit pumped up got a bit more air in it and um that goes behind your uh, the, the back bit of your seat where normal lumbar support would be in your car and um just gives you that bit more support makes the seat a bit more comfortable now it's spot on for me i can't wait to get it fitted but um as it's very cold can hear the air leaking out enough. But as it's very cold, we're going to whip the seat out of the car. Also, you don't get to see it in the car then, so you have to watch another video. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to take it out and bring it in because it's very cold out, which shouldn't take long. And then we're going to show you how we're going to fit this. Now, your the back piece of my seat is all like the, the foam insert is all like velcroed in. So what I'm going to do is put two little velcro pads on here just to hold it in place. So when and then some more on the other side so when I put the back bit on that's still velcro to it and that is velcro to the seat so it doesn't move when I'm, I'm getting in and out of the car but yeah that's um that's what we're going to do today so yeah next thing we've got to do is go get a seat out seat is now out of the car and um uh, yeah we've taken the cushions off and bits and bobs so obviously that one's got to come out as well um we've got to put some velcro on this before we go any further so we can obviously adjust it when it's in the seat. So if you look down here, we have some, obviously they're the bits that's gonna to grip to the seat. So we're gonna stick a couple bits of these on there and there, so that can stick to the seat and not move. It doesn't matter about the bottom, because it's gonna be held in by the bottom bit, but yeah, so you need that bit of support so it doesn't, doesn't move about when you're in your race car which I'm not gonna be, because it's not a race car. So, God, this is really sticky. You do just pull this off, don't you? Yeah. So, I'm gonna stick one there, just like that. And I'm gonna stick another one in roughly the same spot on the other side. Now, they are slightly over the top, but I don't want it interfering with the rib bit. So now, if I can move to the seat, and do that. It wasn't stuck on properly, I had just had it off. So this goes in here roughly. So now that, that doesn't move. It's not in the right place for where I need to have it, but it's good enough for now. So that, that can go there, which is I think is about right, isn't it? So that's about there. And then look. Not, not quite right, that's got to go into there. But you get the idea, and then you pump it up with that, and then you've got lumbar support, which is much more comfortable. But firstly, obviously, we need to get this right. 
So I'm just going to set it up so it's in the right place. And then I'm going to show you putting the pipe in and around here. Because I think I'm going to run it down through here and then along here. So, it, so it's about there. So I can just ch -ch 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 -ch, job done. got it in, got it all pumped up, it's perfect for me, which is ideal. Um, what we did is, let me just turn it around, we did, ignore the fact that it needs a hoover, that, that's going to happen before it goes back in the car, don't worry. Right, so what we've done is under here, we lifted that up and the pipe runs down here and then along here, which works an absolute treat. Um, I am just going to read it, God, this Velcro is so strong. I am just got it running around through there, up through there, and then out to there. So I can pump it up from there, let it down, whatever, to whoever drives the car. Uh, what I'm going to do next is pull this up and tuck that bit behind and pull the cushions back on and then see how it is. Personally, I've just sat in it because we have just put it all back together just to see if it works. It's now in a perfect position for me and it's so much more comfortable because um, I do find that this bit here pushes your back out at the top because then your head's sat here not like back of it so that'll make make it a lot better a lot more comfortable on long drives be more comfortable to daily as well and that's what it's all about so right what we're going to do now rip that bit we put, did put another velcro tab on there as well so what we're going to do is just unvelcro this obviously we don't have to do so much on this side and then we're going to tuck that under there Make sure to velcro that down and put that back as well. And I'm just going to velcro that to there, velcro that to there. That will move a bit, but the next bit, which is the back piece, is going to hold that in place. So what you're going to do, that bit's got to go up in first, like so, like that. Not like that, because that was wrong. That's going to go in there. That's going to go around like that. There you go. And then you get your base cushion. Yeah, I think this can only go in one way. I think that end is slightly narrower than the back. So that's going to go in next. That obviously goes right up nice and tight there. That's going to go there. I do like the embroidered OMP as well on it. It looks really good. And there we go. One nice. Well, you wouldn't have thought these are second hand because they're in mint condition. I'm just going to sit in that, just check everything's okay, and that is one hella comfortable seat. Now, I have noticed, just from sitting in it straight away, even though I've already tested it out, my head, when I put it back on there, is so much closer than it was before. It honestly felt like I was driving like this before, a bit hunched over, but now, it's much better. I'm just going to have a quick nap while you finish up the video, okay? Now that's done, I think um, we should get it back in the car. Or do you think we should probably do it tomorrow? Because I've just looked outside and it's pitch black. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Several days later. It's now time to fit the seat. It's been a couple of days since um, we finished putting the lumbar support on my seat, which is right down there. And um, it's now time to get it fitted. Now, <laughs> we haven't been able to fit it because we've had a bit of snow. It's been frosty and I haven't been able to get in the car. And. Um, I needed to go up to my workshop to do a bit of drilling and rebolting because I want to drop my seat down but because of the bolts I used in the rail to the, the seat mount bracket if you like um, I couldn't fit it wouldn't drop down enough and it was a bit too high and on the cushions under your legs it was sort of pushing up a bit too much and it wasn't very comfortable still really m much more comfortable on the leather but um, yeah still needed to sort it so now we're going to get and bolt the seat in. Now, I'm very excited about this because later on we are going on a bit of a trip. Now we're going with a few friends, not in the same car, but we're going with a few friends. And um, I'm not going to say where we're going or what we're doing, but it's very snowy. And um, well, it's not actually, but the, the actual place is snowy, but it's all a light show and everything like that. And it's very Christmassy and it'd be a really nice way to finish off the year. So we're going to go do that, but obviously I need to get my seat in because otherwise I can't drive it and it's very uncomfortable to sit on the floor, not to mention there's no seat belts. So right, I'm going to get my seat in, I'm going to set the camera up and um, yeah, we're going to get and bolt the seat in.
and then I'm gonna wash the car because it's absolutely disgusting at the moment. I hit a pheasant, a dead pheasant the other day, and if you look, there's dead stuff on the bottom of the car, and a few leaves and bits and bobs, dirt and grime and everything, and the wheels, oh my God, the wheels, look at the wheels, I mean discs where the car's been sat. Look at it all, it's disgusting. But yeah, let's get it in. Before getting the seat in, one thing you must do, because you obviously drop stuff down inside your seats every now and again so trusty Dyson and we're going to give it a quick hoover just under the seat I'm going to do the rest later Now that's done, it's time to go grab a seat and get that in. Before we do, I'll show you what we've got to do. Basically, it's very simple. Got this multi plug which goes on and does the airbag and stuff like that. And then it's one, two nuts on there, and then one, two bolts in there. Hold the seat down, job done. And that's pretty much it. And obviously, just your seat. Oh no, actually, because here, down here, I've got to put the seat belt on, which just slides on the tube, and then you put, put this. Uh, what is it? Torx. Torx bolt in. And then do it up nice and tight so the seatbelt don't come off. But that's it. Pretty much very simple. There you go. There's a loop there, look. It goes on there. But yeah, let's go grab a seat. I never know which way is the best to go in with this thing. There we go. Try not to scratch the plastics, obviously, and drop my socket. That in a minute. Now, we've got to just line it up on the bolts. But first, we've got to plug this in. Have a job. Now, cable tied it all up nice and neatly yesterday, so that's a much better job than it was. So let me just get that one lined up there, and that one lined up there. All good, so now what we've got to do is fold it up because they are a bit of a fiddle faddle. I'll show you the rails from Born to Drift in a minute as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're going to be doing it by hand. I knew I should have bought my rattle gun from work home. Now with these 46s, the seat rail has to be over that way quite far because the pedals don't quite line up and neither does the seat, which is a bit of a faff, but it means you've got lots of space so you can still get in the back and stuff like that with the seat forward, which I mean if you've got back seats it's ideal, but if you don't then it doesn't really matter. I don't, so I don't really need it. I'm just going to do them up loosely for now just so I can check it all works and then I'll do it up tighter a bit later on. Now, now I can get to the other one here and I can spin that all the way on by hand. No I can't. God this is annoying. Get in the back now. If I get this off the rattle, it's going to be even better. Right, in the back we go. So, I mean, you can still get in the back. Just. It's like giving birth, that is. It's actually not. That's nice and tight as well. So next thing, 
I want to run harnesses, but I can't run them through here. So, what I've got to do, because I don't have harnesses yet, is run this over here, like that. Run that through there. And then pull that down through there. And that thing I was on about, the little bar down here, that I've got to put the nut on. That has got to go on there like that. Or well, probably which way around is better. I'm not sure. I might have to adjust that, but because I'm not sure which around it's got to go. But that goes in there. And then that's got to go through. And then do it up. It's a 40 torques. No, it's not. It's a 45 torques. Put your little cover over, and then now you've got to try to get out, which is even more difficult than getting in. But I'm going to put my gloves back on because my hands are a bit chilly. So now I've got to try and get it over the yard. Ain't much more graceful getting into a bucket seat, to be honest. And there we have it. One bucket seat, all nicely installed. Now I'm going to show you the. Oh, yep, fell over. I'm going to show you the Born to Drift rails. Well, not rails there. It's mountain brackets. So you get this bit. Obviously, you get a pair for each side. You get these brackets here, which you've got obviously a bit to slide to adjust. Which I got. I think got the fronts on that. You get fronts bolted onto that, and then the backs are bolted into this hole here. Obviously, a bit further in. And then you've got the front. And then they just bolt into the original brackets. Now they're, they're sort of a universal fit. So they sort of fit whatever, really. Um, I think these these do 36, 46, and E30, I think, something like that. Not 100% sure. Go check out their website and have a look. But yeah, I've got my lumber support in now, so I'm going to try it out. But here is the little pump, and there is your seat adjustment. The lumber support is in here, in behind there. Now, all there is to do is just try it out and see how comfy it is. So, I just got into the car. It feels a bit weird because I'm on a slope. So I was like, oh no, have I bolted it in wrong or something like that? But no, I've, uh, it's literally just where I'm sat. Now, for some reason this time, I've bolted the seating better and it's more even, even more aligned than it was before. So it feels even better. The lumbar support is spot on. If you would like one, head over to GSM Performance. Uh, I think they also, they have another website called uh, Sport Seats for you. Check them out because they do some amazing stuff on there. Loads of seats, loads of rails, and loads and loads of other good accessories and stuff like that. Bolt kits, you know, loads of different stuff like that. That's obviously where I only got the lumbar support from. If you want to check out Born to Drift and get a set of rails, head over to Born to Drift. I'll put a link in the description below for Born to Drift. And if you want a good set of seats, then do what I did and hold up for a really nice mint second hand set of seats. So um, thank you, Marina Miata. I'll put your tag up here and I'll tag you below. Thank you for watching this video. The seat is so much more comfortable. And join us in the next video because we have that very special event we have to go to, all the light show and everything like that. A lot of hype about it. So we're going to go check it out. Obviously, Kieran and Bobby and Elijah Grace are coming with us as well. And he's going to be in a passenger seat, in a standard seat. Oh, did you see what she got me for Christmas? Look. She got me this uh, new camera bag. So I've got all my camera kit in the bottom there. Tripod, you know, batteries, le spare lenses, all that sort of stuff. I've got loads of stuff in there and it's really, really comfy as well. So that'll be a good test for tonight as well. I'm going to mount the camera and we will have a look. But you will see all that in the next video. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook. I don't post much on Facebook, but check out Instagram. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Royal Collective out.